Move your body like a snake, ma. Like that. This week is all about snake print. I don't even know. Nah. Move your body like a snake, ma. Like that. Shake it till it Guys, I'm back with another video. This week is all about snake print. I don't even know if you can see that or not. But this video is bringing you one of the hottest trends this season right now. Actually, trend reports are showing that it's actually going to be in next season too, going into spring with swimwear. It's snake print. I'm sure you've seen all over Instagram, all over Snapchat, whatever social media you're using, you've seen snake print. It's everywhere right now. All the stores are selling it. So I'm going to show you the ways that I will wear snake print, which is not much different than the ways other people have been wearing it because there's only so many ways you can do it, but I'm gonna put my special touch on it and show you how it looks on me and show you guys why you need it in your closet for this season. Or even if it's not season, this season, get it next season because it's coming in with swimwear, which I've been thinking about with my clothing line. I might bring in some swimwear for next year, so be on the lookout for that. I really don't know what I wanted to say in this intro we just gonna get right into this video so here we go with the snake print starting out with the snake print pants and i brought back the white button up and that was an intentional not trying to promote the other video but the white button up just looked cute with these pants and all i did was tuck it in didn't even button it up i have a black bra underneath but you can wear without the bra too but the snake print pants, they're actually a pencil leg. I just didn't like how wide the leg was on me because my ankle is so small. So I did roll it up and made it look more like a jogger. Has the paper bag waist and the yellow stripe on the side, which helps give it a more sporty look since I rolled it up as a jogger. When I first got the pants, I didn't think I would like them. I don't know why, but I took them out the package and I was like, yeah, no, I don't know. I'm gonna wear, put them on for the video, but I don't think this is something I would wear. But now that I have them on, I think I like them. Bruh, let me come closer. Express, like, what would y'all thinking with these measurements? And look how big this waist is on me. Like, you can fit a whole nother me in these pants. But look how tight the thigh is on them. There were another snake print pants, a little more subtle, and they're more like a jagging style. So they're tight fitting, but whose waist is really this big compared to their thighs and their legs? Like, come on now. What am I supposed to do with this? I feel like the subway man right now. Like, I done lost half of me. Now, even putting on a belt ain't gonna work with this, but y'all yeah, know I'm about to finesse this just to get a picture out of them. Alright, so I at least got it so I can record for y'all and show y'all and I can get my picture out of them. Because after this, I just gotta get these pants away. Ain't nothing I can do with them. I don't know, maybe maternity pants if you got a big stomach. Probably like in your third trimester, but your legs still skinny. You can wear these pants because I can't do nothing with them. Actually, I think I have worn them because I've had them for a while. And I think I wore them with a long sweater over it and just put a belt around the waist like I did now. And it looked more like leggings. Because if I show you all the back right now, I can't go outside like this. Like, look at this. Like, where am I going with my pants all gathered up in the back like that? But otherwise, the outfit could have been cute. Snake print pants that are tight fitting and then I put on this lime green bodysuit just to give this video a little color. So my American apparel bodysuit but express y'all gotta do better because i can't do nothing with these pants next is the snake print skirt which pretty simple just a basic skirt kind of too big for me on the waist but i can get away with it and then i just threw on a black top there's so many ways you can wear this skirt because you can do color with it you could do solid I do black, brown, cream, but just a simple way to wear it. It is stretchy. This fabric is actually real soft too. I actually like this fabric a lot. This is something I'll keep in my wardrobe. I just gotta figure out this waist. Maybe take it in 
or try putting on a belt with it or something. This is a little dressy, almost look like club-like, but you could wear it with a different top to make it look more everyday. I could even just put on a black t-shirt to be honest with you and it would still be a cute outfit. Okay, like here it is with just a black t-shirt and I put the belt on this time to cinch in my waist a bit, but gives you a little bit of a different vibe, but still with that same skirt. So for this next snake print item, you just look at my face. Like, I'm just going to show y'all so y'all can see, because I might as well show y'all. I bought this item specifically for this video. Like, I've been waiting to post this video because I've been waiting on this item to come in the mail waited for no reason but since I got it I'm gonna show y'all and I had the perfect outfit in mind the straight blackout outfit black top black bottom all black everything and throw the snake print item on with it let me just show y'all so it's this snake print let me be able to talk first it's the snake print blazer that I thought would be perfect over a black outfit. Like, I mean, it's not too dressy, but kind of gives it a sophisticated look, which on camera, it probably don't look too bad. But can y'all hear it? Like, listen to this. What kind of material is this like this gotta be a joke like i really waited for this like i don't need everybody to hear me coming when i'm wearing a blazer like it feel like it sound like i'm wearing a windbreaker and not a blazer like self it could have been cute if they used the right materials and i'm definitely not about to waste space in my closet for this like i'm already limited on space with all the stuff that i got in there so i'm definitely getting rid of this i'm just using it to show y'all in this video since i already wasted my money on it but it's gotta go it's hot now i have the snake print bodysuit which Y'all should have known I was coming with the snake print bodysuit, it's everywhere. And then the burgundy pants that I had on in last week's video, I paired with this because it looks cute with it. Simple but still on trend and cute. Now y'all know I had to do the snake print dress. It's everywhere, so of course I was going to have it in this video. And when I tell y'all they took skin out of snake skin, literal, like this dress is so tight. Like, completely ruined my hair, but who cares? Probably took off half of my makeup. And then trying to put it on, like I'm trying to twist the arms around like this, trying to get it on right, because it was, it's just tight. But it's cute. Like, I might be wearing this tonight, or by the time y'all see this video, I've already worn it. But I'll definitely be wearing this soon because I like it. So now that we've gone through all the snake print clothing, I'm going to show you all the snake print shoes. Because there's more ways to wear snake print than just clothing. There's accessories too. you got purses, belts, shoes, but I'm just going to do shoes. I'm not going to go into all the other stuff. Because I have so many shoes. And I'm not even going to show you all the shoes. Um, but just to point them out real quick. Like last week's video. You'll see the snake print shoes from that video. I'll style in this video. Um, got snake print there. Snake print here. Snake print here. Snake print here. Snake print up here. Which shoes aren't even supposed to be up there. But they are. What else I got? Got so many snake print shoes, snake print here. Like, I have a ton of snake print shoes. The only thing that I don't have snake print 
is snake print boots, which I actually have the brown ones down there that has a little bit of snake print on it, but not full snake print. I used to have snake print boots, but I sold both of them because I thought that trend was going out of style. Even though I know trends always come back, I was like, I'm never going to wear these ones again, so I got rid of them, which I probably still would have wear them now, but it would have fit this video. So here are the shoes from last week's video that I promised you guys I would show you on me in my next video. I just paired them with a blue skirt and a silk blue tie front top that actually I made both items. This is the shoe. Don't know how much you guys can see in the frame. But the shoe is cute. My only issue with it is my only issue with it is the material of the string to tie it up. It's the exact same like fake leather as the shoe. And it's hard to tie up. I don't know if maybe over time the material will loosen up and it'll be easier to tie. But right now it's not so easy to tie. And it's kind of uncomfortable. Like I couldn't imagine spending the whole night standing in these shoes. These are shoes that you want to be sitting down in. So instead of doing the blazer with this outfit, I can always do the snake print shoes, which I've never worn these before. And at first I wasn't exactly sure why I haven't worn them, but now I see why. The platform on this hill is super heavy, like extremely heavy. And then the strap that goes over the toe is not strong enough to support it. Like I can wear them, but I feel like if it's like a drunk night and I'm in these, I'm twisting my ankle. And this hill is super high too to be stumbling around in. But these shoes can be worn with this outfit. This video is more so about the clothes. I just wanted to show you guys if you don't own snake print clothes and you don't want to go out and buy them you probably have snake print and something else whether it's shoes purses whatever snake print is the trend so that's something you definitely want to have in your closet right now so quickly for those of you that follow me on instagram i know i said i was going to give a review of these glasses which is hard to give with my setup because these glasses show all the reflections behind me or in front of me but I'm gonna try to give it to you anyway so the glasses for the most part are cute glasses they're a little flimsy but they're not too bad I don't know what I'm looking at right now but they're not too bad they're cute on if I can get them on but they're a little flimsy. Now, mine doesn't have the prescription in them, so I'm sure if it had a true prescription, it would be a little heavier. But they're kind of plasticky, a little cheap. They're from a company called Firmo. Overall, they're a cute fashion piece, and for the price, I would recommend them. But if you're looking for an expensive pair of prescription glasses, I wouldn't go for them. I'll link the codes down below that I was given for discounts because there are some good ones there. You can get a pair for $10. So for $10, I'll just wear them as regular, like not sunglasses because it's not protecting me from the sun, but just cute glasses to throw on. Now they did come with the cleaning microfiber cloth, it has the company name on it. It came with the hard case, has the company name on it too, which you can barely see, but it has the hard case with it. And then it also has the microfiber case, so a lot of protection and easy to clean them. Plus, they also gave extra screws and the tool to screw it in because that's actually one of my issues. All my screws always seem to fall out of my glasses, so those will come in handy because I actually have some glasses I need to fix that I was going to take to Nordstrom. Now, don't ask me what I was looking at this entire video because I really don't know. I'm not used to holding my camera and recording myself. I usually have it on a tripod, so this is different for me. But those are the glasses. If you want them, I have the link down below to the website plus discount codes for you to save a little money because we all want to save some money. 
But other than that, we're going to get right back to this video. Thank you for watching.